Hey guys, Cyber Recording is coming to you with that video that I promised you to show you my new beta. This is Mephisto. He's a half moon true blue macaw. That's the name that the breeders came up with this strain. I mean, you'd be surprised at all the different names you see when you start looking at bettas. I've had Mephisto now for about a week and I've shot some footage at different times of the day you know, with the various uh, phases of the light sunrise, sunset, feeding time, just to kind of give you an idea of his personality and how he looks under you know different lighting conditions. But I got this off of eBay. I got him off of eBay from Beta USA. And I had a really hard time deciding on which type of a Beta to get. I was originally thinking about a Placat Beta, but I ended up just getting this one or him so stop referring to it as an object. It's a little living soul that has already captured a place in my heart. And he's doing magnificent, loves his tank. Well, the tank's still settling in, getting a little bit of algae issues. And that's just from not knowing the uh, settings on this light, you know, what to set it at. But I think I've come to a good, even balance with the nutrient level, the lighting, the feeding schedule, just, just all the nutrient input, the light cycle, the duration, and the intensity. And I'll post those uh, settings later on, probably in another video when I talk about the light some more. But let's go ahead and take a look at some of the clips of Mephisto throughout the day. I hope you guys enjoy. Here it is feeding time and Mephisto knows exactly where to go. I always feed him at the same spot every day so that he can quickly locate the food. This is Dr. Tim's beneficial homemade frozen fish food. I'm going to feed him right off of the spoon. Mephisto can quickly locate the food. None of it will sink to the bottom. This helps cut down on waste and pollution. I also feed Southern Delight as well as frozen blood worms and Hikari betta pellets. This next clip is in the morning, about an hour after the lights came on. I'm holding a pocket mirror up on the right-hand side of the tank, allowing uh, Mephisto to flex. It's good to do this every now and then. Uh, it gives your bed a good exercise. It doesn't stress him out as long as you don't do it too often. And not to mention it's fun watching him do this, and he's really beautiful when he flexes. The first time I did this, my wife was asking what was wrong with him. There's nothing wrong. They're just exercising their natural behavior, defending their territory against other male bettas. I love those fins, coloration. And he's ready to go. This last clip here is about 30 minutes before the lights go out. And Mephisto knows that it's time to go to bed, so he's kind of winding down for the day. He'll either sleep on top of the bulbitis attached to the driftwood there or up on the moss ledge at the return. Well, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching.